Just as all of the world's major religions have dawned in the East, the Baha'i faith had its roots in Iran, which once was known as Persia. It was the middle of the 19th century. An air of religious fervor permeated Christian, Jewish, and Islamic countries around the world. Predictions by Bible scholars sparked a new wave of evangelism and the birth of Adventist denominations. Thousands flocked to the Middle East to await the appearance of the Messiah. Meanwhile, in Shiraz, Iran, a young merchant quietly proclaimed that he was the bearer of a revelation from God, referring to himself as the Bab, meaning the gate. He explained that he was the forerunner of a divine teacher greater than himself, who would soon have the new age of unity and peace. The Bab's spiritual and moral teachings spread rapidly throughout Persian society. He promoted the upliftment of women and the poor, and encouraged universal education and the study of science, themes considered radical in a society still steeped in centuries-old traditions. Perceiving the progressive new faith as a threat, religious and civil authorities imprisoned and killed thousands of the Bab's followers. In 1850, the Bab himself was executed by firing squad in this public square in Tabriz, and his remains were hidden away by his followers. In 1852, in Tehran, one of the most courageous supporters of the Bab, a nobleman named Mirza Hussein Ali, was arrested, tortured, and cast into a subterranean dungeon known as the Black Pit. While in prison, through the foul air, filth, and pitch-black darkness, came the first intimations of a divine revelation within him. He later described, The breezes of the all-glorious were wafted over me, and taught me the knowledge of all that hath been. This thing is not from me, but from one who is almighty and all-knowing and he bade me lift up my voice between earth and heaven. When finally released and banished to Baghdad, he began to revive the dispirited followers of the Bab. In 1863, he publicly declared that he was the promised one of whom the Bab had spoken. He took the name Baha'u'llah, meaning glory of God, and his followers became known as Baha'is. As Baha'u'llah's followers multiplied, Ottoman and Persian authorities sought ways to suppress his influence. After unsuccessful attempts on his life, they mounted campaigns to harass and discredit him. Eventually, he received an invitation to meet with the Grand Vizier of the Ottoman Empire in Istanbul. And thus began the next stage of his exile. He was exiled first to Istanbul, then to Adrianople. Finally, they condemned him to perpetual imprisonment in the ancient city of Akka, located in present-day Israel. Akka was the harshest prison colony in the Ottoman Empire. The foul climate and vermin-infested buildings made life in Akka one of the most severe punishments possible. Arriving in 1868, Baha'u'llah was confined in the citadel, along with some 70 followers and family members who had been exiled with him. While in the prison city of Akka, Baha'u'llah wrote many of his important works addressing the kings and rulers of his day and explaining the laws and principles of his religion. For one who spent most of his life in prison and exile, he revealed a profound global perspective when he wrote, 
It is not for him to pride himself who loveth his own country, but rather